if you want to know how it feels to sit on an elephant surrounded by beautiful girls, <laughs> yes, it feels great. That is Yoda life. Spend a little time with Bastion Yoda, and you may find there's some pretty super feelings behind that Superman costume. He's a businessman, a life coach, a fellow who says he and his wife came from Germany to fulfill dreams of their own, to reach greatness. Don't find yourself, create yourself. You can create yourself to, today as Superman and tomorrow as Batman. And in three days as Mickey Mouse. I want to show, hey, you can have a great lifestyle, but with the value of a message. You ha can have fun. But some neighbors around here apparently have some serious feelings about the Yodas. This has been known as a party house in the past, sometimes rented by celebrities. Some neighbors tell me parties are poured out onto the streets. Everything is possible, and if it's a dream you had as a little child, it's never too, too late to make it come true. If history has proven anything, it's that folks from Germany should not be life coaches. We've seen their playbook. Meet Bastian and Maria, the creators of Yota Life, a philosophy that's either intentionally vague or just really, really stupid. Their gated community wants to kill them because they throw obnoxious parties and have a hideous fathead selfie on their garage. Bastion teaches his all-female house guests that the key to life is having a tight bod, a juicy booty, and tons of followers on Instagram. And it just gets more infuriating from there. Like timeshares, Scientology, and anything Drew Brees tries to sell you, life coaching is a straight-up scam. It's a trainer for your shit personality. A life coach is supposed to help you make good choices, so if you hire one, they've already failed you. My mantra is never be the type of person who has a mantra. Here's some life advice. Quit being a bitch. Everyone watching now owes me $1,000. But behind every cult is just a dude who wants more poon in his life, and I can't find any real fault with that. That's why I test drove a Bugatti to the Yota's the Rental Mansion in the Hollywood Hills for this week's Celebrity Profile. Welcome to Vice. News with balls. I kinda look like Shane Smith. It is time for another one of our extremely edgy, pretentious, highly irresponsible reports. We sent one of our unpaid interns, Daniel Tosh, to Los Angeles to investigate one weird German guy's bullshit life coaching business. I'm here in the Hollywood Hills to go undercover to see if they'll accept me into their life coaching classes. Hi, uh, I'm Daniel. I'd like to move in. Sorry, buddy. We don't accept male students. <laughs> yes? Uh, Hi. Hi, I'm Danielle. I'm here to move in. Another beautiful lady wants to learn the other life. Come in and join us. Thank Let's you. Let's go. The disguise is working. Bastion, Maria, uh, uh, thank you for inviting me here. You're welcome. welcome. Where are you from? Born and raised in Germany, Munich. Are you married? We okay. are not married, but okay. we realized that if you name a girl your girlfriend, it's nothing worse in LA. It has no value. So we name her, I name her my wife, and so it's just to protect our relationship. But uh, I name her my wife too. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, yeah. Are you in an open relationship? No, closed. So closed, closed. Yes. yeah, very closed. How, how does that work with so many beautiful women around? If you are in a closed relationship and you have the most beautiful wife in the world, I don't care about other girls. All right. Do people still want you out of here? Or Because there's people complaining about the parties and all the stuff. In the last four years, he has received 96 calls to police. I heard about the complaints. I never met a person in real who was complaining. Well, that's because everybody in Los Angeles is fake. They're nice to your face. Yeah. How many months have you been here? Uh, we moved to LA December 2014. What's the rent here? Uh, 35000 a month. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I must work hard for that. Wait, wait, what did you do for a living? Besides just being good looking. Oh, thank you so much, yeah. I have a couple of companies, so what I do, I make ideas happen. What's your net worth? My goal is to bring my net worth over one billion in the next two years. Next two years over one billion? Yes. Mm-hmm. Explain to me what YOTA stands for. Yota is the highest in the metric system. It starts with Kylo, 1000, Mega, 10 to the power 6, and Yota is the highest in the metric system. 
what means uh, live your life at your fullest potential. I don't understand it at all. Why don't you teach men? I don't want fat, ugly guys lying around. You don't, have the, you don't have the point, but I know what you're saying. I love to be surrounded by beautiful girls, so it makes fun. We have fun. You like to be surrounded by yes, beautiful girls? Yes, I love it, so. What's the clothing policy in the pool? Is nudity encouraged? No, they all wear a bikini. All wear a bikini, yeah. Very tasteful. You have to always be classy and... Uh... Speaking of classy, a lot of the Instagram photos always like showing your butt. Do you know the story of the butt? No. I tell you. I want to hear the story of the butt. We have been together for two weeks. And uh, we have been in the bedroom and she was dancing and showed me her body. And I said, well, Maria, can you do me one favor? Please turn off the light because it looks so ugly. And yeah. she was really like, it's... what? I said, okay, I show you something. And I switched on all lights and made a pic of her butt. Why did your ass look so bad? She never worked out. Never. Just do for four weeks what I'm telling you. Eat clean, drink water, protein, mm -hmm. work out. And after four weeks, we did the same pic. What's the best piece of advice you can give someone who's trying to live the Yoda life? Three things. First, what means your personal Yoda life? Figure it out. Create an on detail version of your perfect life. Second thing, make it happen. And don't be afraid to fail. Make yourself believe that it's possible. Okay. And the third thing, start now. Now, not tomorrow, not next week, not next, start now, mm -hmm. now. Yeah, I like to put things off. Danielle, are you ready to meet the Yotta girls? Hello, hi, how are you? Oh, you're poking me, what Sorry, is that? Sorry, that is my tampon, it must be slipping out. Shooting women with my bow and arrow. Yeah. It's my favorite trust exercise. Oh! <laughs> that didn't hurt because I don't have a penis, Maria. Danielle would be much prettier if she didn't have such a hairy face. Danielle, do you want to have some sushi? I would love to. But we eat it only the traditional way of sex nude models. <sighs> that is lovely. Let me just get a little soy sauce here. And I'll fill that up. There we go. Ouch. Do a little wasabi. Mix that up. There we go. Dip, 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 dip. Well, I'm absolutely not threatened by Danielle, so I've seen that Bastion checked her out, but she has absolutely no ass. She needs to work out. What's the best exercise I can do for a stronger pussy? Because again, I'm a woman, not a guy. But you must feel the pressure here. Do you feel it? I do. No, press mm -hmm. harder. That's as hard as I can press. You can take a money bath. Oh, okay. You're gonna need a real bath. You should really consider switching to plastic. And now say out loud, I am a perfect woman. I am a perfect woman. Say it louder. I am a perfect woman. With a little training and a huge breast augmentation, Danielle can go on to do great things. Wow. What did I learn about Yachta life? Well, it's almost definitely an excuse to trick some sevens into thinking you're hot shit, and I couldn't be more down. So I quit my job at Vice and decided to remain at the Yachta mansion forever. Shortly after our crew left, the house was tended to prevent a fucking syphilis outbreak. <laughs> Next week on Vice, Crockett and Tubbs take down Miami's biggest coke deal. Here's a weird twist. Pixie Fox has been spending time with the Yotas. Time your full schedule. There's a scan play on oh my God. Back.